Get ready to taste the rainbow with the most colourful games. If the colour collection didn't already give it away, we here at Logitech G love colour. And after donning the new Mint G335 headset for a few weeks, we've had little else on our mind. The way a game is coloured can totally change the way we view it. A black and white scene will evoke different emotions than brighter hues. Red feels different than blue. RGB makes everything better. We just can't get enough of colour. So we thought we'd have a play through our favourite bright delights that burn our retinas with rainbows. Before we get the paints out though, if you want to play your way with a refreshing selection of colours, then head to the Logitech G website or subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on all our colour collection gear and more. Ok, let's dive into some vibrant games. You'd be struggling to find a game more bright and creative than Chicory A Colourful Tale. The master wielder has disappeared and all colour has gone from the world, so you, a little janitor, take up the brush and start filling in for her. Literally, you spend your time painting everything in sight, with a palette for each area. Splash trees with paint, wobble lines across the world and colour each and everything from the other animals to rocks on the ground. There's even a fresh mint colour that coordinates with our G335 headset. Chicory's dynamic is unlike anything else we've seen before, with colour coming into everything from puzzles to the story to pure joy of getting messy with paints. Oh, oops, missed a spot. Nothing is quite as delightful or as weirdly alluring as the colourful world of Slime Rancher. You're on an alien planet, collecting slimes and harvesting their little crystal poops for cash. Simple, strange and so addictive. It's part adventure as you explore the wilds collecting new slimes and part simulation as you crossbreed creatures, grow crops and tend to your ranch. It even has the appeal of Pokemon as you collect every little friend you meet, chucking the old versions away to make room for newer, shinier slimes. Each one comes in a new colour or design or both, although not all of them are friendly. It pays to have some snacks on hand to avoid being eaten yourself. But who can stay mad at these little guys? Cake Bash is deceptively cute. It wears its pastel colours and tasty sprinkles as a disguise for what it really is, a chaotic competition that will have you raging at your friends. Ok, it is actually super sweet fun, but some rounds you will be fighting fellow cupcakes, while for others you'll be toasting marshmallows, collecting ice cream or avoiding hungry pigeons. Looking at Cake Bash is a sugar rush on its own, with bright sprinkles and pastel backgrounds every level. Luckily, it never gets sickly, we'd happily spend hours beating up our friends while French fancies looked on. Oh, just make sure you eat before playing because watching anthropomorphic food is going to make you seriously hungry. Where's the mini game of the donut running right into our mouth? Cozy Grove is a game all about colour. You're a spirit scout sent to an island full of ghosts who all happen to be adorable bears. The whole place is black and white until you help various spirits and they fill areas with colour. Watching pigments seep into every detail never ceases to feel magical. Trees blossoming into life, decorations filling with colour, the whole world feels a little brighter. Plus the art is so its own style, it feels like being in your very own children's book. Cozy Grove is the perfect replacement for the Animal Crossing shaped hole in your heart. You wander around peacefully and do as you please. You can bake treats, skim stones, complete quests, decorate, dress up. It's your colourful little world to enjoy, so get creative. You can't talk about games and colour without mentioning Greece. This peaceful platformer takes you on a journey through grief and fear, all told through various colours. She starts in emptiness, black and white buildings broken down around her after losing her voice, then proceeds into reds, blues and greens, each representing a different feeling. There's no enemies to fight or quests to finish, just a journey onwards through sadness and loneliness, moving forward and letting colour wash over you. 
all games have colour, but not all use it as a central mechanic of what you're experiencing. Greece isn't as happy and bubbling as other entries on this list, but it's deeply emotional. You'll want to play it all in one sitting, then collapse and probably cry for a bit after. The perfect night in. Sometimes colour is best in a limited palette, like black, white and mint, or blue, purple and pink. Sayonara Wild Hearts is a rhythm game that has you spiralling through bright levels on skateboards, motorbikes and tarot cards. The whole thing is like playing through a flashy and brilliant music video. If you've ever wondered what neon colours sound like, this is it. A bubblegum synth and addictive beats. The whole thing is an adrenaline fueled ride of constant action. When you finally hit pause and come out, it'll feel like waking up from the best dream you've ever had. Well, the best looking, at least. It's not just beats and colours, either. There's a narrative that may take you to another world, but still hits home just as hard. Heartbreak has never felt so good. Perhaps you want to delve into a whole new world of colour. Astroneer is a sci-fi sandbox game where every planet is a mix of bright, brilliant colours. Purple forests are just as common as green fields. Even the grey mountains feel vibrant in Astroneer's style. But if you really need convincing, just look at the sky. We could stare at those twinkling crystal stars all day and night. This is also a survival though, so not every colourful thing is friendly. I don't try to say hello to these pretty flowers. While you do need to keep track of certain resources, you also have tools at your disposal to reform the ground beneath your feet. Dig down, build up. This is a creative paradise once you just work out what all the tech does. Step one, oxygen. <laughs> Sometimes the colour in a game comes from you. We could have picked any number of sandbox titles that let you get creative, but nothing beats a theme park for good old garish colours. Planet Coaster is all about building your own wonderland, and for many of us that means cracking out the full rainbow. Fairy tale markets, futuristic neons, gingerbread trees. However you like to play, you'll find what feels like endless options to design, build and decorate your park. Every tiny detail can be changed to create your masterpiece. There are even whole parks to explore from the Steam Workshop so you can soak up the magic without ever lifting a finger. But do keep arms and legs inside the carriage at all times. Fall Guys is the equivalent of eating an entire bag of jelly beans in one sitting. Sickly sweet, but fun enough that you do it again and again until it really became too much and you had to have a lie down. Fall Guys draws you in with adorable beans, pastel stages, and then knocks you off into a cloudy sky to watch your dreams of winning disappear. It's a giant game show in which you play as one of many bean people in costumes facing various chaotic challenges. Each round, a few people are knocked out until there is one winner remaining. If you're looking for fun and colour, well, I mean, just look. Your eyes are blasted with it. It's amazing. <laughs> After all that brightness and excitement, let's end with some calming colours. Townscaper is less of a standard game and more of a relaxing, creative experiment. You have an open ocean and place buildings down as you like to build a town. There's no goal, just soothing colour palettes, pleasing shapes and endless dabbling with little houses. It's perfectly formed so you can snap things together to create towers or squares or whatever and it'll always look perfectly planned. There's a full palette of colours to pick from too, so you can have minimalist clean streets or a town that looks like a bag of skittles. It's only an early access so there may be more to come, but for now a cup of tea and some townscaping is all we need for a perfect afternoon. And breathe. So those are the most colourful games to play on PC. Let us know in the comments your favourite colour, ours is mint. And if you enjoyed, give this video a like. For more videos like this one, subscribe to Logitech G and hit the notification bell so you never miss another video.